All we have to do is put it together. If we can figure out these plants, we'll be invisible. We'll be here, but nobody will see us. Whoa! This is gonna take some brains. What a creature! A triton cockatoo! These parrots are incredible communicators because they live together in big groups. These are galahs, another type of cockatoo. From the moment they're born, they learn to communicate with all kinds of chirps, squawks, and chatters. Parrots can learn so many things. This is one smart family of birds. Hey, let's call one smart lemur. Zabu! Zabu. Zabu! Hey, do you want to help us call Zabu? Zabu! Zabu! Where is he? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you were hiding! <laughs> hey! Zabu's here! And we're gonna have a lot of fun! Come on! Hey, Zab, wait up! Zabu, slow down, buddy! You know Zabu. He won't slow down till he's had a snack! And I know just the thing. The kiwis! Chris. Thanks, Martin. Zabu, how about some kiwi fruit? Zabu loves kiwi. There you go. Kiwi. <laughs> I was hiding. Hiding's a fun game. My name too. You must be pretty smart. Huh? Huh? All right, I think everything we need's here. Yeah, and it looks like everything's arranged around the main turbo thruster. Oh, oh yeah, an invisible machine. Yes, yeah, Zob, an invisible machine. <laughs> an invisible machine! <laughs> I can't believe my mind. What's that for? To get invisible, Zabu. Haven't you always wanted to be invisible? Oh, okay. I'm ready. Let's try it. Make me an invisible leaping lemur. <laughs> invisible lemurs can really hide. <laughs> Bye. First, we have to put it together, and that's going to take some brain power. Brain power? <gasps> that reminds me of a creature I saw on my way here. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? When I saw her in the forest, she was trying to catch a bug. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Oh, God, Scott. Oh, God, Scott. Animal. She kind of looked like the Krat Brothers with lots of hair. And she was smart, too. Who could it be? This animal who I did see, can you help me guess this mystery? A smart bug catching creature. Do you know who she is? All right, let's see. Looks like the Crab Brothers with lots of hair. 
Chris. Climbs like Zabumafu. Martin. Walks like us. Brothers. <gasps> a, a chimpanzee. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Manga Chimpska, Mystery Animal's here. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll bet she could help with the invisible machine. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, she's saying that she could. Yeah, I think she wants to, Zob. And we're lucky because chimps are incredibly smart creatures. Hey, where are you going? Maybe she has another idea. She does? Oh, come on, give up your idea. Huh? Hey, I think she wants to play, yeah. <laughs> hey, you're pretty fast. <laughs> Hey, Chris, it looks like she wants to play chase. <laughs> Come and get me. You gotta move faster. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this game of chase is making me ugh, dizzy. <laughs> Young chimps love to play all kinds of different games, just like humans. And playing teaches them things they need to know for when they grow up. So playing's good for their brains? Yeah, Zob. Playing power is great for brain power. You know what? You're so smart. I think I'll call you, uh, brain, 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 brainiac. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Hmm? You like that name? Oh, me too. <laughs> I do. Brainiac. Hey, Brainiac, we could use your brains. You want to help us build the invisible machine? <laughs> All right. OK, guys, let's start building the invisible machine. But first, we have to get into these boxes. Brainiac, Do you want me to help you with this box? Yeah, OK. This invisible machine sure is fun. All right. Whoa. Here, let's check out this one, Brainiac. Fun. Is there anything over in this box? Yes. Look at this. Oh, another piece. And that's a big piece. Well, see anything else in there, Brainiac? Oh, it's a cord. <laughs> oh, so many surprises. <laughs> it's like opening presents on your birthday. Brainiac's looking for more surprises. <laughs> a chip in the box. Hey. <laughs> 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 <Woo>! <laughs> she found a drill. Oh, yeah. Chimps are one of the few creatures who use tools in the wild. Does she know how to use a drill? Because, well, I always end up spinning around when I use a drill. <laughs> no, she doesn't use a drill, Zabu. But a chimpanzee can use a twig as a tool to pick up insects from hard to get at places. You have to be a pretty smart creature to figure out how to use a tool. There you yeah, go. Like that? No, right here, you hit that. Brainiac must be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You okay, Zob? Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> We're playing. No, I'm it. You're it. I'm it. You're Chris. it. I'm, whoa! Oh, oh, she got me. Oh, that was fun. Hey guys, remind me again what we're doing? We're building the invisible machine. Oh yeah. But first, I think I'll take Brainiac over and get some brain food. Great idea. Let's go. Food for thought. <laughs> Whoa, Brainiac figured out how to use the snack machine all by herself. Plus, did you see how she peeled that banana? Next time you eat a banana, try eating it like a chimp does. She likes to put it under her lower lip like this. Ah, oh, good, huh? Food for a slip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, another part of the invisible machine. Let's put our brain power to work and find out where this one goes. All right, so now that we have all the parts, we'll put the parts together and make the invisible machine. <laughs> oh, don't rip up the map. We need that. There. All right. Let's... This is going to be a tough build. Yep. Sure is. All right, we got the directions, though, so. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Here, put this piece <laughs> together. <laughs> this goes right here, is that right? While you guys are using your brain power to put the machine together, I'm going to tell a story about Sabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I almost leaped, whoa, right into Wiggy Waxwing. <laughs> 
Oh, what's the matter with everyone? We're hungry, Zabu. Yeah, there's only one Goobleberry bush left for all of us. And just one. Oh. Must eat, must eat, must oh, eat. Oh, no. Oh. Goobles gonna eat all the Goobleberries. Never fear. Zabu the Super Lemur is here. Oh, wait, 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 Gooble. Inside these Goobleberry fruits are seeds. Well, if we plant these seeds in the ground, a whole new Goobleberry bush will grow, and we'll have lots of Goobleberries. But how are we going to plant them then? I can't dig with these small arms. I can dig holes. Great idea, Noggin Drill. So I called Buggy and jumped on his back with a pile of Goobleberries with Narchi underneath. So while Noggin Drill dug holes, I loaded Narchi's nose, and he blew Goobleberries in all the little holes all over Zabu land. Gooble kicked the dirt over the seeds, and before long, new Goobleberries grew all over Zabu land. Yeah. Hey, it worked! Ah. <laughs> the super lemur saved the day with his brains! I love that lemur. And everyone had lots to eat. The end. <laughs> Brainiac said she loved my story. Hmm? At last! The invisible machine! It's already finished? Not quite, Zabu. We still have to figure out where this last piece that Brainiac has goes. Oh. Yeah, to figure that out, we're gonna all have to put our heads together. Well, I could figure it out uh, if only I could read. <laughs> Plans don't show where. Where does that piece go? Come on, Brainiac. Let's you and I go swinging. That'll get our brainy juices going. <laughs> Brainiac and I are tired of thinking, so we're just gonna swing a little bit. Go for it. <laughs> I'm tired already. Fun. <laughs> can't figure it out. I can't either. Where does this part go? Hey, Brainiac, look at Chris and Martin. They're still thinking. <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> yeah. I love you, too. You're so cool. <laughs> So, Zabu, where do you think this piece goes? I don't know. I didn't even know it went. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Oh, you're welcome. If we could just find a way to connect all of our brain power, then we'd figure out where that piece went. But what are we gonna do? Got it. This idea machine will help us put all our brain power together and come up with a super incredible idea. All right, we're all set. Fire it up, Brainiac. Do you feel it yet? Oh. Oh, I feel it. Brain power. Brain power. Oh, my mind has an idea. Yeah, yeah. I've got it. This piece goes right there. Zabu, no, wait. wait. No. no. Uh-oh. Where'd he go? I'm over here. No, no, over here. No, I'm over here. Oh, this invisible lemur is gonna drive me crazy! Over here, guys! Nothing could be finer than swinging on a viner! Hey, guys! Yes, yeah, Zob! What's harder to see than a swinging lemur? I don't know. Could it be an, an invisible swinging lemur? I'm leap, leap, swinging all over Animal Junction and no one can see me! <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna get him back. I don't know how to do this either. I don't wanna get back. I'm hiding. <laughs> Well, we might not be able to see him, but we can still find him. Hey, I think Brainiac knows how to find him. Come That's a great idea, Brainiac. Are you two thinking what I'm thinking? Come on. Watch this. I'll put this kiwi right here, because Zabu can't resist kiwis. All right, you ready? I'm ready. And Brainiac's ready, too. Zabu! How about a snack, buddy? Mmm, I smell kiwi. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah! Oh, hey, what's going on? <laughs> you found an invisible lemur, but I think it looked more like a ghost lemur. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zob, but we couldn't have figured it out without Brainiac's smart brains. You're right, Chris. And I think Brainiac just figured out how to make Zabu visible again, too. Hit it, Brainiac! Let's see if it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> it's great to have the real Zabu back. Way to go, Brainiac.
I feel chimpish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel chimpish. How about you, chimpish? I feel chimpish. Woo-ha! <laughs> chimpish. A big brain date with sparks between my ears. Chimpish. Oh, oh, well, thank you, Brainiac. Hey, there's a troop of chimpanzees outside. Well, I guess it's time for you to go home. See you later. Good buddy. Say hi to your family for me. See you later, Brainiac. There she goes, living free and in the wild. Incoming. Duck! That doesn't feel like a duck. Well, that's because it's not a duck. It's Moonface the barn owl. Did you see me being invisible today? I don't think so, Zabu. It's kind of hard to see a lemur being invisible. In fact, it's kind of hard to see anybody being invisible. Right, Chris? Where'd Chris go? Maybe he went invisible, Martin. Where are you, Chris? Chris? Uh, Martin? <laughs> we fooled you. You thought Chris was invisible. You had him go in there for a second. <laughs> Let's see what the animal helpers are up to now. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Amy here. I'm visiting my friend, Renard, and his dog, Mescal, and Oliver and his dog, Nickel. They're amazing teams. Come on and see why. Oliver doesn't get around the way I do, so Nickel helps him. Muscal and Nickel help Bernard and Oliver every day, even going to the mall. And if Oliver drops something, Nickel picks it up for him. Isn't he smart? My friends wouldn't be able to do a lot of the things they do without the help of their special needs dogs. Now that's what I call a creature with brains. What a manga seeker creature. He learned to do so much with all his brain power. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm beginning to get an idea. With all your brain power? Yep. Chimp huh? brains are smart, right? But what about other creature brains? Mm -hmm. Why don't we mm -hmm. find out? In India, to the closet. <laughs> Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. To the closet! Whoa! Wow! Whoa. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and... and they're headed out the door. See you later, Zab. Bye, brothers. Okay, so we've met a lot of amazing brains, but what about bird brains? You've probably heard about bird brains, meaning not so smart, right? But the truth is, there are many, many birds who are very intelligent. Like, like crows! <laughs> what are they doing back there? Uh-oh. Aren't our sandwiches in the back? Our lunch! Hey, that's our lunch! <laughs> we need that for our adventure! Those crows were watching us, waiting for us to stop the jeep so they could swoop down and steal our sandwich. But we're not the only creatures the crows are watching. Crows keep their eyes on tigers, leopards, wild dogs, looking for the opportunity to grab a bite of whatever these creatures are eating. Let's see how smart these crows really are. We're going to do an experiment to test the crows' intelligence. First, we're gonna show them this bread. See it, everybody? Here's the bread. Okay, now we're gonna take the bread, put it on the ground, and put the leaf over it. And now, let's see if the crows can find it. She found it! <laughs> okay, well that was pretty smart. But now let's make things a little tougher. Let's take two new leaves and only put the bread under one leaf. Okay, I'm putting it under this light green one. Now, I'm gonna mix them up. Are you crows watching? You have to remember which leaf the bread's under. Can you remember? It's this one. Okay. 
She got it! Great job! No doubt about it, bird brains are great brains. Except that peacock still has to figure out he's fighting his reflection and not another peacock. <laughs> it might take him a little while, but we've got to fly. Let's see what Zabu's up to. Zabu? Wait a minute. There's nobody here. What's going on? Hi, guys. Guess who's invisible in Animal Junction now? Could be anybody. I'll give you a clue. He's really, really big. Do you know who it could be? Let's find out. I'll bet you you can find him before the brothers do. <laughs> We bumped into a huge creature, that much I know. Okay, I'll give you another clue. Hmm? A toothbrush. I bet I know who the invisible animal is. Martin, you have the harmonica? Oh, yeah, I've got it here. Here. Right. I'm just gonna put <laughs> this harmonica right here because I think the invisible creature will want to play it. Of course, toothbrush the elephant. Hey, a toothbrush. Bet you never saw an invisible elephant before. Especially one who played harmonica. Nope, this is a first. Only an animal junction. Here, I'm gonna make him visible. There's Toothbrush! Good to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> He's one smart elephant. Elephants are incredibly smart creatures. For one thing, elephants have to remember certain things to survive, like where the water holes are. Water holes can be far, far away, and if the matriarch or leader doesn't remember where they are, the whole herd could be in trouble. Because elephants get pretty thirsty. Hey, Zob, what are you doing? The toothbrush says I can ride on his back. He says it's okay, because I'm not too heavy. What? Oh, you're hungry? Well, let's go get a snack. <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like the snack machine's broken again, guys. Again? Well, then I guess let's put our heads together and fix it. <laughs> hey, Toothbrush, right. what are you doing? Hey, guys, I think Toothbrush has an idea. Chris Martin, he does. Look! What would Brainiac do? What would an emu do? Toothbrush, fix the snack machine. You're so smart. Toothbrush always figures out how to get into the snack machine. <laughs> yeah, because when an elephant wants to get something, he figures out a way to get it. Hey, that reminds me of another time in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I saw everybody running around, afraid. Well, I'm freaking out. Oh. What can become of our show? Ain't good, I tell you. Well, I'm gonna dig a hole, that's where I'll go. Oh, scared, scared, not happy, scared. Well, what's the matter, Sai? I'm glad you asked, a giant snowball is rolling down Mount Zabumufu. It will mean our destruction, yes. Yeah, I don't like that, that's not good. Then my mind thought for a minute, and then I knew what to do to save Zabu land. Never fear, Zabu the super lemur to the rescue. So I leapt to the mountain and stood in the way of the snowball. But then, all of a sudden, the snowball and I landed right in the middle of a goobleberry jelly patch. We feel happy now that you have saved Zabu Land. Ooh, goobleberry snow cone. Mmm, good. We ate goobleberry oh, snow cones oh, till we couldn't eat any more. Yeah. The <laughs> end. Sounds like everyone always ends up happy in Zabulet. Oh, yeah, we help each other all the time. Well, just like when Brainiac helped us build the invisible machine. It was amazing having an invisible elephant in Animal Junction. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names. But we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, high and climb. One more thing we have.
have to say, go make an animal friend today. <laughs> Thanks for a great day, Toothbrush. go now. Being invisible can sure tire you out. Bye! Bye, Zabu. We gotta go to. Right, Chris? Chris? Right here, Martin. I'm invisible. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, let's see what we can do about making you visible. All right, let's see here. That should do it. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm invisible, too. Hey, come on, bro. Let's go check out another brainy creature. The orangutan. You got it, Chris. Hi, my name's Roland. This is my hat to baby.